Good afternoon. Explora exploration in the North Sea oil and gas sector is at its lowest level for more than 40 years, but a new report shows investment is beginning to rise. The Business Outlook survey, published by Oil & Gas UK, says production is forecast to grow by 5%. However, low levels of drilling mean the outlook for future years is much more uncertain. It is all about having a competitive basin, um, you know, that we have a competitive fiscal regime, we have our costs that are competitive globally, we have a great supply chain. It's that jigsaw of opportunities that we bring together that we are seeing attract M&A activity that we saw last year. That's attracting investment into the basin and it's that investment that needs to translate then into more activity around drilling. Scottish Conservative MPs are due to meet with the Prime Minister to discuss the UK's agreement to keep EU fishing policies during the Brexit transition period. The meeting follows an outcry in the industry over the deal struck with Brussels. Fishermen had wanted the UK to regain full control over access to the country's fishing waters immediately after the country formally leaves the EU in March 2019. More than 100 police officers, the Coast Guard and Army are now involved in the search for a missing St Andrews University student. 19-year-old Duncan Sim from Duns in the Borders disappeared during a night out in the Fife town last Wednesday evening. He was last seen outside Madras Rugby Club on Old Station Road in the town at around quarter past 11. I met with uh, Duncan's family this morning to make sure that they were fully sighted on everything that's ongoing. Clearly the public will see officers out searching, but I also want to make clear to, to Duncan's family, um, to Gordon and Sheila, that there is a massive amount of officers in the background who are trained in some specialist things, including the investigation obviously of his, his phone, digital media, um, CCTV, all of these things are ongoing in the background as well. But clearly they are extremely worried and extremely concerned about Duncan. The UK's only polar bear cub to be born in 25 years has taken its first steps outside with hopes it will become an ambassador for its species. Mother Victoria and her three-month-old cub have started to venture into the Highland Wildlife Park outdoor enclosure to feed and explore. Now here's Sean with the weather. Sponsors STV Weather. Good afternoon. It's the official first day of spring and what a cracking day it is out there from many parts. Plenty of blue skies around across northern and northeastern parts. Patches of cloud running around just like yesterday. Possibility of some light showers still across the Isle and also across Shetland. But in that sunshine feeling nice with light winds temperatures about 8 degrees Celsius. Now during tonight we'll see more clouds spreading into western parts also turning a bit breezier and some rain coming into the western hills through the early hours. Big contrast in temperatures though across eastern parts where we hang on to the clearer sky and then parts of Murray and Aberdeenshire still down to about minus three, but five degrees in the west. Tomorrow, rather cloudy and damp, but very mild. Bye bye. Tui sponsors STV Weather. That's all for now. Join Norman for the STV News at six. Until then, have a good afternoon. Goodbye.